Hey, what's up? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Outriders video. Well, we have pretty much the biggest update that is here, ladies and gentlemen. Starting next week, we're getting a huge update that will change Outriders forever. We're talking about server instability being fixed, glitches being fixed, as well as items being restored for people that's got it wiped. Let's talk about it. Now, as always, I'll be leaving a link down below if you want to check out these lovely patch notes yourself. But don't forget, we have a giveaway going for Outriders, ladies and gentlemen. Links down below in the description. Now, let's jump right into it. We all wanted to know what this big update was about. And yeah, we finally got it, ladies and gentlemen. We have the patch news right here today. And uh, yeah, kick back, relax, and uh, let's get started with the awesome news that is coming to the world of Outriders. As you can see right here, we have the post-launch dev news update. They start off by saying, hello everyone. We would like to thank everyone in the Outriders community for your patience, support, and assistance. Everyone on our Outrider team is continuing to work hard on improving the game. We like to share some news about the things we are focusing on. In this video, we're going to be talking about patch notes, the community appreciation package, which you're going to get a free Lego, ladies and gentlemen. Inventory, white restoration, rebalancing, multiplayer, stability, and connection, connectivity, and postmortem. First up, the patch news. The first patch. This is our first big patch for the Outriders main game. As of today, the deployment of this patch is scheduled for next week. As we are using the week to identify as many server issues as possible, fix them, and then thoroughly test the changes across all platforms. Submission through platform holders adds on a little bit of time as well, which is why we're not able to deploy this patch any earlier. We are doing our utmost to deliver you a stable patch as soon as possible, and we are continually looking at ways to bring the patch release day earlier. This is why we are not yet committing to a patch release date, as we may still be able to release the patch before such a date. We will let you know as soon as we have confirmed the release date, so please keep an eye out on all social media platforms. So for the first part, the first patch, patch notes, <laughs> we will fix a performance issue where GPU is not being fully utilized. This should help with stuttering and uh, DirectX 11 and 12 issues for PC. Now, once platforms have been updated to the same patch version, cross-play across platforms will become active again, ladies and gentlemen. So it's on the way we'll be able to play with all of our friends really, really soon. The overall stability improvements for the matchmaking servers for crash fixes. They have uh, fixed the multiplayer crash that could result in client players having their inventory wiped. This is huge. Nobody wants that. We'll fix the crash when completing a bad day side request, so that's good. They fix the crash that occurs in the no man land when your language is set to Spanish. Yes, we know video game code is a magical thing. They fix the crash on launch issues, included many more random crash fixes, and are confident that these fixes will address the majority of crashes reported. And there are only a handful of root causes, but the crashes they generate appear in a number of places. They're also going to fix the HUD disappearing in certain cases, fix the bug and in interface with players responding in multiplayer expeditions, fix the plug bug, excuse me, with players getting stuck on geometry, including when using gravity leap or falling out of the world. We'll change the default matchmaking settings from open to close. You will see you will still be able to manually change this setting to open through your game settings. This change will prevent players from joining games where the host didn't intend to play in multiplayer. It will also cut down on AFK lobbies. This will also help improve matchmaking time as the queues will be less likely to be overwhelming by the sheer volume of constant matchmaking requests generated by open games. Many other minor fixes and improvement. Next up we have the Outriders Community Appreciation Package. After working on Outriders for more than 5 years we are disappointed just as you were about the launch and it didn't go as intended. So they're going to gift us some loveliness, ladies and gentlemen. They'd like to thank every one of you, but beyond just saying that, they're going to give us some swag. All players who play between March the 31st and April the 11th, just a few days away. So if you haven't played, play any players outside the above window, uh, but for whom we will have performance uh, automatic inventory wipe restoration link are also eligible. So. Even if you got your stuff wiped, you know, you're good to go. Your highest level character will receive 
a level appropriate legendary weapon, a level appropriate amount of titanium, and an emo frustration, which is otherwise unobtainable at this moment in time. The irony here was not intentional, but it is fitting. These are their intentions. This package will be delivered to us, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Next, we have the inventory wipe and restoration. We believe that the rate of this bug appearing should be greatly reduced once the upcoming patch has been published with the crash fixes in place. We intend to run a one-off mass restoration. Here are the intentions of this restoration. Restoration should take place on a specific date and should be a one-time event. The exact date is to be announced, but they're hoping that this occur in the coming weeks. They'll provide you with updates and have confirmation of dates and timing. They will only be able to restore the most valuable items, epics, and legendaries. They will be unlikely to restore an inventory full of blue gear. The restoration should be additive to your inventory. It should not replace your current inventory. Restore items may not be having the same exact stats as the lost item. Note that restoration will not be possible for items that were acquired, but where the game connection was terminated before an autosave could complete as those items would never have made it into your server inventory logs their logs. Such suspended autosaving is noticeable, but the yellow autosave icon stays active for a longer period of time. For any individual restoration that were missed or that occur in the future, we plan to equip teams to assist in this situation. Please note that these are our intentions, and if they run into any difficulties, they will let people know. Now, the accolades wipe issue is something we're again looking into whether we can run as part of the such a one-off restoration or whether we will need to tackle this in in a separate time they'll let everybody know for rebalancing this rebalancing work can be implemented through back-end updates it does not require a patch and will be run during today's maintenance window important balancing is done by a separate team uh, to those who are working hard on preparing the patches rebalancing does not impact our progress towards patches or reduce our ability to resolve bugs here are the general balancing notes well for people that was doing that uh that glitch they're in luck general balance note historian bounty and monster hunt quests no longer grant legendary items for each subsequent completion so the infinite legendaries thing it's done now while rewarding players for completing all the historian bounty and monster hunter quests is still our intention we did observe unintended results when players repeated this activity in combination with the specific multiplayer bug with this rewards adjustments, we want to eliminate this exploitive behavior while still making that quest line worth the effort. So all the players who took advantage of this exploit, you're going to get water. No, no, you're not going to get watermarked. You're good. All players who took advantage of this exploit will not be punished. Good to go. Adjusted loot on specific enemies, the Tokabi, Splitter Tooth, Shade, Shifter, and Cold Claw. These particular beats are being too generous considering the required effort to take them down. So yeah, those epics are about to slow down a whole lot. Now, for the expeditions, ladies and gentlemen, it's being adjusted. The camp plant that we love, the expedition times for gold, silver, and bronze has been adjusted to 6, 50, 11, 50, and then 15 minutes. Yeah. Previously, it was 9, 57, 13, 03, and 16, 50. It's adjusted. Broomtown Expedition time for gold, silver, and bronze has also been adjusted for 395, 89, and 776 seconds previously. It was 422, 607, and 792. Some expedition seems to be too generous in the regards completing timers when completing to others. We want to avoid such disproportionate discrepancies as we believe making all expeditions viable leads to more diverse and thus more interesting end game. So the crit rating damage multiplier on tech assault rifles also has been reduced to 165 which previously 175 and the critical rating damage multiplier on marksman's rifle reduced to 250 as previously was 300 percent marksman rifle with a 300 percent crit rate showed up to be dominating multiple crit builds by making the modifier the same as for the bolt action rifle we want to offer more players options when choosing what gun to use. So the duration of the Massacre AP buff has also been reduced to 3 seconds. This is a temporary measure until they get a fix for that. And for the bullet abilities, we knew it was coming ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Okay. The bullet abilities. Uh, twisted rounds, blighted rounds, and volcanic rounds. We love them and they're being kind of changed. They are 
fully intended to provide uh, the overwhelming fully feeling uh, that these bullets are supposed to have but late in the demo life cycle they discovered a bug with regards to the augmentation of the ability when you lace that around your bullets the main problem is with that the bullet based builds require much less investment to make them top tier compared to other builds now to achieve these changes that they made a couple adjustments for the trickster and techno master classes who benefit the most from their bullet abilities power it is uncertain as to whether these changes will prove too strong or too weak so please do consider this to be only the first step in this journey as they will continue to monitor and adjust things in the future so when you log back on after this update Check out your blighted rounds, check out your twist rounds, volcanic rounds, and see if you're going to get the same amount of damage. Things should be different. Now, the base cooldown of the twist round skill has increased to 25 seconds. It was previously 16 seconds. So, the twist round skill has been increased. So, you're not going to get those back as fast as you would. While infinite uptime on bullet abilities was always our intention. It is intended to be a high risk, high reward playstyle. However, given the current power of this skill, there is very little risk involved in this ability given its short cooldown. Even when players fail to trigger ammo replenishment, increasing the cooldown in combination with adjusting its damage should increase that risk and make this playstyle a more thrilling experience. So, the base cooldown of the Twisted Round skill has been increased to 25 seconds so you have an extra 10 seconds of there to figure out what you're going to do that includes me because I, I play with that guy a lot now the trickster hero tree notes disruptive firepower and the session of power outrider execution have had their power reduced to 35 percent previously was 50 percent the combination of twisted round and increase of firepower on top of the multiplayer provided by the class tree led to huge increase of damage dealt by this ability while we do understand the satisfaction that this kind of power can bring it is currently vastly outperforming our widest expectation we therefore need to bring things down a notch so yeah that's a little bit of a nerf ladies and gentlemen the trickster hero tree nodes disruptive firepower cyan of power outrider execution have had their powers reduced to 35 percent it was previously 50 percent so that's definitely going to affect my build for sure and uh, viable status power uh, reduced to 15% previously 25% the techno master hero trino damage against poison has had its power reduced to 15% previously 30% while the techno masters blighted rounds does not provide any damage increase on their own other than ignoring armor as anomaly damage they do provide an excellent tool for spreading the vulnerability of toxic statuses which in turn can scale out of proportion the Pyromaster, yeah, you didn't get left out. The Pyromaster Hero Trino, Trials of Ashes has been reduced 15% extra instead of the previously 30. So it's clear across the board, a uh, bunch of nerf when it comes to abilities. Now, the huge one, Multiplayer Stability and Connection. Co-op multiplayer sessions are a separate matter from solo connectivity. Launching a multiplayer session require multiple partners and services. The upcoming patches should help alleviate some of these crashes and uh, it should be done via backend without patching the game. So that's a really good thing. So for the connectivity post-mortem, their team is work has worked throughout Easter as we know to get everything up to date and uh they've done a good job so far we was able to play and i didn't really see a huge difference when it comes to the connectivity but um the crashes and fixes uh hopefully they're there ladies and gentlemen when we log back on check it out i know i'll be checking it out but that's pretty much going for the video it's a huge update it changes everything the first patch um has a lot of reworks for our classes I know my trickster class, the the twisted rounds, the blighted rounds for the techno master and uh, the pyro master. We're gonna have to all check that out, ladies and gentlemen, when we hop back on. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Links down below for everything. Uh, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.